It's almost time for the only good part. <laughs> Well, not the only good part, because the gameplay's fun, but the best part of the game is the concert. Oh, I'm getting kind of nervous. I hope our audience behaves long enough to listen. Brother, calm down. Hey, we brought in people from New Yevon and the Youth League. Why are you touching your butt? One thing worries me. The two groups are already locking horns. With their leaders gone and everything, the people are just a little bit edgy. Sphere spring calibration complete. We can start any time. Hey, uh, the crowd is acting kind of funny. Let me pull the video up. have been bumping heads since they got on the airship. Yeah, looks like they're itching to start something. I'll pick up the audio. The Yevonites are here too? How am I supposed to enjoy the concert with them stinking up the air? Well, you've got hey, something covering you your nose, so... will never be worthy of hearing the high summoner sing. What's with the accent? The traitor over here, he'd never let these maggots walk around spouting their nonsense. What I want to know is, where'd Nuge go? It's his fault that Spear is falling apart. What kind of leader abandons his people when they need him most? Don't they ever stop? Seriously? Well, Yuna? You're the one who wanted to do something. Yeah, but... Right? <laughs> so let's do something. Right! Let's do it! Oh, catastrophic catastrophe! Dear me, dear me! What a whatever should I do? The spectators are making a spectacle! I don't even want to speculate! Please, do something, Yuna! Um, I am singing during the FMV, by the way. Because uh, I like that song. years ago, before the time of sin, Spira was torn in two, divided by a terrible war. This was Spira's great mistake. Out of the rift left by this terrible conflict, sin was born. In only two short years, Spira has shaken off its unhappy past. We have moved on. Now, Spira grows brighter with each passing day. That light is our strength. I don't want to see it fade. Do you? Yes? There are so many of us, each with different ideas and different beliefs. Of course we sometimes disagree, and arguments will happen. But our hearts can and should always be one. Believe with me. Even if we are torn apart, our feelings will unite us. That is what this song is about. You 
using gentle words to shelter me. Your words were like a dream, but dreams could never fool me. Not that easily. I acted so distant then. You know. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm fine, really. It's past now. Where did that come from? I mean, it was well worth the build-up. What did Shinra say? Um, he said it might be some kind of uh, interference with the sphere waves. Yuni's dress sphere and the sphere screen reacted with each other, and uh, the consciousness burned into the dress sphere was projected onto the screen. <laughs> Or something like that. Okay, but that doesn't explain why it happened. You know, that's how the writers when explained asked, it too. Said, I'm only a kid. Ugh. It's Len. I was singing her feelings. During the song, I could feel them welling up inside until they just burst. So the people we saw were Len and Shuyin? Everyone's waiting. Let's go.
was a magnificent melody, Lady Yuna. The onlookers were all quite enchanted. If it brings spirit together, even a little, then I'm glad. Indeed, I believe it shall. As you sang, not a soul could help but realize the folly of their tiresome squabbling. Fists once raised in anger became welcoming hands, offering solace to a tearful neighbor. I must admit that I, too, shed my share of tears the moment Len appeared. You know Len? Of course. Would you like to hear? Yes, tell us. <clears throat> Where to begin? About a thousand years ago, Len was a popular songstress in Xanagant. The talk of the town, you might say. In a more peaceful age, she might have lived out her years as a performer. But the times and her talents did not allow such a thing to be. You see, Len's gift for singing was matched by her genius in the summoner's arts. When the Machina War began, all summoners were sent to the front lines. Xanagand was hopelessly outnumbered. Len knew she would not return home alive. Nonetheless, she was prepared to lay down her life to protect her people. Yet there was one person who refused to let Len die. Yes, he would do anything to save her. He was a young man, Len's lover. Shuyin? I don't know. His name has been lost to history. Whatever his name, the youth endeavored to steal the enemy's machina weapon and save Len. However... It didn't go well. The lovers met a truly tragic end. Those images we all witnessed are most certainly a record of their last moments. So Shu Yin was Len's lover. And so that means the weapon that he tried to steal to save her must have been... Begnagun, right? I think I can kind of understand how he felt. Trying so hard to save someone. Two years ago, I, I was the same. Trying to find some way, some way to save you. That was enough. Knowing that you were on my side, I'll always be grateful to you. Maybe Len felt the same way. The man she loved. He struggled to save her. He fought till his very last breath for her. I think that Len's final words might have been happy ones. I love you. You don't know that. Yes. There oh my god, I have connection. moves. But wait. Everything is all wrong. I know, he right? Never heard. The one person she wanted to tell, he never heard her words. But what do you know? It's LeBlanc's game. They want to see Yuna. I'll have them wait in the engine room. Do not talk to Shinra. Go immediately to the engine room. Like, if you talk to Shinra first, it'll completely skip that scene in the engine room. And you won't be able to get... Any you won't be able to get the sphere she gives you. I've been hunting around since we last met, and I happen to find a rather peculiar sphere. It shows my new G Wuji. For some reason that chump Barilla is there too. But it's from some years ago. I'm afraid it's not much help now, loves. How about you? Have you tracked down my Nuji yet? Nuji's on the far plane. I saw him there with Gipple. The far plane? What is he doing in a place like that? I think he's searching for Barilai and Vegnica. 
Oh, ho, ho. so paralyzed the one pulling Vegna gun strings. I should have known. No, that's not it. How do I explain? Never mind, I don't have time for this. Boys, we're going to the far plane. <laughs> Anything but that, boss! We are no match for that sort of opponent. Now don't be silly. The power of love conquers all. It's decided. We're going to save Spira. Yes, ma'am. Well then, get this tanker moving! like a transmission, but it's pretty weak. What is? Hmm. I'm getting signals from the console we dropped in that hole, but I can't seem to connect. Enough, little boy. Move aside. See? It's connected. Impressive machina. An invention like this could change the world. The song Whoever playing in the background is, is so genius. pretty, I can't wait till we get to hear it. Good taste. For real. <laughs> Guess I'm a genius too for fixing it. Well, if it doesn't work, then Everybody you're not. Everybody home! Gipple! I don't think he can hear us. Well, how did he fix no it response. if it doesn't work? <laughs> Some genius. <gasps> New G. If you're done playing, let's go. Chill out. Lost your nerve. Hey, we're talking about Vegnagon. How the heck do you fight that thing? We can't even walk up to it without freaking it out. Or making it mad. But I've got a plan. If it doesn't work? Death will be my apology. Whatever, man. When a Death Seeker dies, that's no apology. What about LeBlanc? Well, she. talking to Xu Yin. I have to tell him how Len felt. I'm sure he'll understand. How? We can't exactly make an appointment. We'll just have to jump into one of those holes. Together, this time. Crunch! Gullwings! Please move out! Celsius! Move out. 